Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day today. Just thought I'd give you a real quick tour of what's going on. Uh, getting all my plants ready to be put outside, you know, have them all transplanted into bigger pots. And uh, you know, I have my pineapple and banana plant and stuff out here to get some sunshine during the day. I still take them in the house at night. But uh, come on, check it out. There's the pineapple, Cavendish banana, uh, fish tanks I was using as a makeshift greenhouse. There's my Meyer lemon, a couple of flowers I bought, two more pineapples I started, and then all my tomatoes and peppers. Right here. And here, it's right there. Uh, they're actually, uh, I took root from my banana plant and rooted them, so I have two more banana trees. There's the lemon I started from seed. Uh, this is all just like lettuce and stuff, uh, watermelons and stuff I'm germinating. I'm gonna take it over to my mom's house and plant. Uh, stuff that didn't quite make it to be transplanted. You can see I got leaves, leaves on all my garden beds. That gets the worms up there. You know, it keeps it mulched, so uh, soil stays moist too for the plants. You can see I cut another barrel into thirds, so I'm gonna have. You know, side by side like that. This is probably just going to be all my like herbs and little things. Uh, I may end up doing some carrots and one or two of these ones actually. The uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of cat grass. And here we have a gardener's logic. The rabbits, uh, as you may or may not know, ate two of my blueberry bushes this winter. And then I ended up putting fencing around it this spring. But since they did that, I decided to go out and get myself two more blueberry bushes. Which, yes, I know this one's really close to the goji, but uh, I'm actually going to relocate the goji next season. Uh, I was going to do it this season, but honestly, I just didn't realize I was going to buy blueberries. And uh, it's a little too late to move it now. As you can see, you know, it has all the green. So, you really don't want to uh, move it when it's out of dormancy. And then, if you notice the little jars that I have. Oh, there's my garlic. more flowers I planted in between here. But these little jars, uh, I have sunflower seeds I put in there. Uh, just an experiment. I put the jars over it just to see if it would keep it warm enough to actually germinate the seeds. Here you can see my asparagus, which is pretty decently sized. But uh, I bought some birds. I don't understand the point of that. My scooter is nice and quiet, and I enjoy it. Anyways, uh, I bought some Jersey Giant and uh, some type of purple asparagus to put in. There's some lettuce started. Another sunflower. Here you can see the onion box. We've got three different types of onions. Uh, candy onions, it's like Walla Walla's and Texas Super Sweet or something like it. And here I'm gonna build probably another bed coming off of here and do uh, the other asparagus. 
And then I gotta figure out somewhere to put 20 strawberry roots. And then compost pile. As always, got that load of manure from the circus, which is awesome. Uh, just because, as you can see, I have all these boxes and I just had way, way too much uh, carbon. And I know there's a lot of straw and stuff mixed in, but that manure provides a lot of nitrogen, so that'll really help. Here's the peach tree. Now, if you guys are worried about your uh, trees, because, you know, as you can see, like mine bloomed. And obviously none of this got pollinated because the frost happened and they all died. But it didn't completely bloom. It wasn't warm long enough for your trees to completely bloom uh, in most places. So you should still get a yield, a uh, decent yield. But you can see like mine's blooming again, no problem. A little bit of shock to the system, but I mean that's nature, you know. They're, they're designed to handle stuff like that. See this, uh, I wanted to clear all this out, but the bees love these flowers, so I may just let that grow just like that. Maybe plant a few more different types of flowers in there. Even though I walk through here, uh, if I plant the flowers like back here, they just have to be water tolerant because of my gutter there. But uh, I'm considering doing that, I'm not sure yet. You can see I put in a flower right there. And I planted flowers all in here. Check it out. We got stuff coming up there, and there, and there. And then I should have flowers all popping up all along and through here once we start getting some rain and stuff. Uh, you can see my catnip just thriving. I'm actually going to probably harvest some of that for my cats today. Lavender. Uh, this stuff doesn't do too great because it's under my cork roof. So the only water it really ever gets is when I water it with the hose. Uh, weeds. I'm getting some cardboard to put over all these weeds here soon. My honeyberries looking good. Looking good. You can see in here, this is all that chocolate mint that I planted last year. This stuff's just delicious. I love it. I'm considering putting in some sweet mint too because I really like that also. It's a honeysuckle or something. Hydrangea. Uh, you can see here where I started to sheet mulch this and put down some soil and then actually ran out so I'm gonna go get more cardboard tomorrow and I'm gonna get a couple loads of compost and some wood chips the next day here is my plum tree we grafted uh, it has the purple and the yellow, so I'm hoping to get plums this year. But you can see, you know, it got damaged by the frost also, but it's going to be fine. I have faith. You can see it's already starting to bloom again. So, that's a good sign. Alright, well that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick what I had going on. Uh, since I haven't had an update in a really long time, I apologize for that. Uh, it takes It's going to take me a while. Uh, 
fast still to get a new computer because obviously, you know, I started the business and all my time and money's going into that. But uh, thanks for following along. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see y'all next time.